Hey everybody, Brett from Stars Gaming here back with part 17 of our Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Let's Play. So in the last episode we took care of some business around Solitude. Um, you know, we ran some fetch quests for some people, we uh, met the Daedric Prince Shiogorath and got the Wabajack from him. Um, and now we are about to head out on the main quest. Uh, the rest of the gang is all hanging out inside the inn. We're going to leave them behind because we're going to need to be a little bit stealthy for this mission. So let's go ahead and meet up with Delphine and uh, be on our way to the uh, party. What do you mean? Now if you notice the game looks any different, I've been playing around with the INI &I files and uh, I switched over to the HD texture pack, although it's an optimized version of the HD texture pack so it runs a little bit smoother. Um, but yeah, you can see a little bit more detail in the back of my shirt and stuff. So let's go ahead and talk to her, and then go ahead and head to the embassy. I'll give you. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yeah, he's all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part, and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go okay. to the party at the Thalmor Embassy. Let's go ahead and throw on the party clothes, which look exactly like my current clothes, except brown. Like <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and head off. I guess that we'll have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure that you get back out of there alive with the information you need. Good luck. Okay, we are off. Ah, uh, fellow latecomer to Ellen little soiree. Yep. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Right. Please, you first. Sit. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? Yep. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. You look pretty I don't dark have a for a uh, high elf. To my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, Guests sir. Guests are advised to remain Everything's inside in order. the embassy. Welcome back, sir. Okay. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? You're Ellenwyn? I've heard so much about you. Have you? All good, I trust. But you have me at a disadvantage. I'm afraid I know nothing about you. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that, that we've run out true. of the Alto wine. I'll wager it was Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, of course. enjoy yourself. Have Will you do. difficult to get provisions lately? I can scarcely feed can staff in my palace. You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door, and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. For now, just get me a drink. Here you go, sir. The finest Colobian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? No, that's it for now. It's been some time since I've had news from elsewhere in Skyrim. Let's talk to our friend here. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Well, what do you know? I got one for you right here. Ah, the 
one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. I've spent many hours in counseling. Thanks, I'll let you know if I need anything. Your wish is my command. As long as it doesn't involve much physical activity. I seem to be having trouble staying on my feet at the moment. <laughs> right. Let's see, who's this here with the quest marker? Oh, it's Sidgear. If I had my way, I'd spend all my time at parties like this, and none of it dealing with the common rabble. Of course you would. Well, how long have you known Ellen Wynn? I've known her long enough to appreciate her excellent taste in food and wine, and also long enough to respect her importance to Skyrim. She plays a vital role in rooting out the forbidden worship of Talos. As far as I'm concerned, those Talos worshippers get what they deserve. All they do is cause problems for me and the other Jarls. Are you enjoying the prophecy? Hmm. Well, some of the Jarls actually resent the Thalmor. What about you? Yes, I know what you mean. Most Nords struggle to accept change. Those who fought the Thalmor in the Great War still see an enemy. But that war is over, and a new day has dawned. <sighs> Besides, the Thalmor reward their friends richly. Anyone who doesn't take advantage of that is a stubborn fool. Yes, or just honorable. Have you heard any news Until the later, then. Skyrim? Of course. Well, there might be nothing to it. Oh, look, but it's our old, fin the our old friend Preventus. Let's talk to him. In White Run. The Empire is fortunate to have and the support of the Thalmor green. during this difficult time, don't you think? Mm, I'm not quite convinced. Are you enjoying yourself at least? Oh, hello there. I didn't expect to see you here. Yes, I am indeed. Ellenwyn always serves the best wine at her parties. Food is excellent as well. Though I confess, being surrounded by so many wealthy and important people makes me feel more than a little nervous. Yeah, it is quite the gathering, isn't it? All the Jarls seem to be here. Oh yes, quite. So many important people from all across Skyrim. I couldn't have said it better myself. No Balgriff, though. Well, it's nice talking to you. Don't let me Skyrim. What have you heard? Hmm. Well, there might be Let's see. Nothing Let's talk to Elisif. But I've heard that the feud between the Grey Manes and the Battleborns in Whiterun has grown ugly. When I married Torig, he promised we'd go to lavish parties just like this. I wish he were here now. Hmm. I'm sorry for your loss. Are you enjoying? Pleasure. Thank you. Excuse us. Isn't this something? Ellen would really knows how to host a party. Well, it sounds like you're enjoying yourself. Very much so, yes. Ellenwyn's parties are always so elegant. She really has impeccable taste. My only regret is that she doesn't host them more often. Well, you seem pretty deep in her pocket, so I'll just leave you be. It was a pleasure. Thank you. As always. Let's see, what There's do we got here? Hunt down the I hope you're enjoying yourself, sir. Can I get a drink? Here you go, sir. Colovian brandy. Thank you. Until next time. Throw that in Breeze home or something. Um, let's talk to the. And words unspoken. Beware these Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. Some say the ship suffered damage to her hull when she. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Of course. I trust that this is just the beginning of a long and mutually beneficial relationship. Of course, of course. I can see you've spared no expense for the party. Of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim, and then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. Of course. So, do you host these parties often then? Quite often, yes. The only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury with those who can appreciate it. I couldn't have said it but I also I enjoy learning the latest gossip and hearing the most intriguing words. I'm sure. Well, it was nice talking to you. Do enjoy yourself. But it sounds too good to be true. Hmm. I'll wager it was Ulfric himself that started the rumor. Maybe he thought it would bolster recruitment. Well, the ruler is entitled to luxury. Don't you think? Are the, the dragons right? Understand that. 
creatures that frighten Let's see, I don't know if we've met this guy I've before. Or if this and Dario. <sighs> Just between us, I've got more important things to do than attend these meaningless parties. Hmm. Well, you certainly don't look happy to be here. Is it that obvious? I should take pains to seem more happy. I wouldn't want to upset our host. But the truth of it is, I have a mountain of paperwork back in Windhelm, and it's not getting any smaller. I just hope this party doesn't drag on all night. Well, if you're that reluctant, what brought you to the party in the first place? Ill luck. I'm a busy man, and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. But at the same time, I don't dare refuse an invitation from Ellenwyn. Right, well, good luck with your paperwork, then. Goodbye, babe. Victoria, there's someone I'd like you to meet. It's very nice to meet you. You'll have to excuse Orthus here. He so rarely gets back to civilization. Stuck in Windhelm, poor fellow. Don't worry, Orthus. I'm doing my best to get you reassigned to Solitude. Oh, don't worry about me. I relish the challenge. Right. Well, let's talk to Vittoria. One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. Yep. Hmm. Well, if these parties are boring you, why attend them? The East Empire Company has interests all across Tamriel, inside and outside the Empire's borders. We try not to get involved in politics. However, as the head of the company, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships with prospective partners and investors. Hmm. So you guys do a lot of business with the Thalmor, then? A delicate question, to be sure. I'm the Emperor's cousin, and the Empire has little love for the Thalmor. On the other hand, the Thalmor have considerable funds and are looking to expand their shipping. I haven't signed any deals yet. But I'm sure my cousin would want to cut if I do. What better way to soothe his wounded pride? Of course. Well, it was nice talking to you. Come and visit me in solitude sometime. I will. Um, who else is here that we haven't spoke to yet? Um, we'll talk to Jarl Igrod last. Where is the other Jarls, though? There was a few others that we hadn't seen. Well, here's Maven. I don't recall seeing you at one of these before. And I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. How awkward. We wore the same outfit. Um, well, what brings you... Actually, no, sorry. Um, what's your relationship with the Thalmor? There seem to be a lot of Jarls here, but I know you're not one of them. We have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire. But I do respect power, and the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. Right. So is that what brings you to this party? To maintain relationships. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. Fair enough. It was nice speaking to you. Until next time. Alright, I just saw him. Where'd he go? I believe it's the Jarl of Markarth walking around. Is this him? <laughs> yes, that is. Take advantage of the fine food and drink. Such I things have been. have been scarce since the war began. Sounds like you're enjoying the party then. Well enough, I suppose. Ellen Wen puts a great deal of effort into these parties, and it shows. I just wonder what her real motivations are. That woman is inscrutable. So you don't think that Dalmor are trustworthy? For now, perhaps. But I've heard disturbing rumors that they're marshalling their strength. I suspect the treaty that ended the war was just a tactic to buy time so the Thalmor can rebuild their armies. I hope I'm wrong. I'm not sure the Empire can afford another war. I'm not so sure either, but I... I share your fears. It was nice talking to you. Good speaking with you. You as well. Alright, where is... Our good friend Jarl Idgrod. She should be around here somewhere. There she is. Let's see what she has to say, and maybe she can help us out here. I'm ready for this party to be over. The hospitality of the Thalmor Embassy is at your service. Now, here's a face I did not expect to see. 
Be mindful for you walk among adders. It's nice to see you as well. Are you having a good time? Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. Do you visit the embassy often for these parties? There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. Indeed. Well... That said, I could actually use your help with something. My ears are always open to a friend's request. Good to know. Um, I could really use a scene right now. Could you distract everybody for just a moment? Nothing would please me more. I'll keep their eyes away while you do what you came here for. Thank you. An old woman can get away with almost anything. <laughs> I love her. She's like the Betty White of Skyrim. No harm is meant to you, happy fool. Let's see. Right here. I see it in your face. The snakes writhe behind your eyes. Get away. Get away from me. Hmm? Did you say snakes? Where? All right, I think Be that's gone. my cue. Slithering the way Be they gone do. from this what? house and me? trouble it no Let's more. Go. Let's go. Be Before anyone notices us. In your midst. Beware, oh people of Skyrim. Okay. Razna, and you promise to behave yourself this time. Remove him. He's disturbing. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody this saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear I'm is hidden in the larder. Innocent. Just stay close and Dear let me do any talking. Got it? Got it. Me. I think I was confused. There's no harm in him. Please. Poor Razlan. He just wants to drink. Absolutely come, not. I protest. You know I don't have strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Well played, Nalborn. Let's grab our gear. And let's get suited up. And that's already favorited. Perfect. The door behind. So let's just go ahead and re keybind all these. Uh, I think that was five. This should be four. And let's make sure we've got a shout equipped. You or the patrols might notice something's wrong. And then I'm going to go ahead and equip these arrows since they're a lot stronger than the uh, iron ones. And let's go ahead and be on our way now. I need to lock the door. The door's closed, buddy. You, or the patrols might not. Good Did luck. You see those robes You're on your own this now. morning. Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcer? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Hmm. Ah, good. Ah, that I've will been help me how quite a bit. Supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up. Maybe there we we'll go. get lucky, and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. We should still try to be as stealthy as we can. But... Ha! This I'd should like at least help. arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we'd better get back to our rounds. Okay. see hopefully he doesn't notice us if he does the disguise should help but I'm gonna go ahead and use this potion just in case because we'll need to slip by him and out the door oh he turned but he didn't notice me okay I don't think this is the way we're supposed to go but he was going to spot me, so I had to kind of detour. Oh. Where did he go? Okay, we don't want to be going this way either. Alright, 
Where is this exit? Shoot, he is in a terrible spot. Hmm. Wish I had some like Metal Gear moves to pull right now. Toss a magazine over there and slide by him. Okay. He didn't notice me. That's not the way. How he didn't spot me yet, I have no idea. <laughs> As long as we don't move, we'll be okay. You're dead. Oh, great. Come on, kill him. Uh oh, we need potions. Huh. Let's just use the minor ones for now. Okay. This disguise might be useless now, but we'll keep it on just to be safe. If you are wondering, the uh, disguise does help. It's just that the fact that I was sneaking kind of blew my cover. Ooh, a water skin. I'll take that. Um, if you walk around in this outfit standing up, especially if you're a high elf, they will uh, think you're one of them. Although, if they get close enough to see your face, they'll ask you to come closer. And then, if obviously, if you're not a high elf, they'll uh, notice. Snow. I don't think I've ever seen this loading screen before. Okay, so we can actually refill our water skins with snow. That's good to know. Let's see. It would be great if we could get through this area without being noticed. However, the door is kind of in a difficult place. Actually, I think we can enter from the side. Who's detecting me? There's only one guard out here, as far as I know. Unless there's another one over there. Yeah, there is. I can see him moving. Haven't seen him around. Must be newer. Must be newer. Haven't seen him around. Yeah. Pretty new. Uh oh. Yeah, see, they they bought it for a second, and then they saw my very heavily bearded Nord face and knew immediately I was up to no good. Who who summoned you? I need to go deal with him. I'm hoping it was this wizard. I really don't feel like uh, fighting. I don't care about my magic. I don't use it. Shoot. They're really tearing me apart right now. Shout, please. Stop kiting me. Okay, got him. Let's take some more stamina potions. Is that everybody? There's one left, but I think he's indoors. Oh, they're on the other side of the wall. Okay, there's, there's going to be a couple more guards in here that we haven't alerted yet. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence! Do not presume, Kissa. You are most useful, but... We have other informants... But no one else has brought you so well. Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows what the old man is you're looking for. 
He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks, in the end. Now, I have work to do. Leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Gissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you'd like, and see how he answers. Is someone there? Nope, nobody here. Okay. Dealt with him relatively quietly. Let's take his key. Oh, he's got a lot of good stuff. Let's take all of it. Is that a Dalmor ring? Is that what that said? Dalmor ring, yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, I can't get my arrows back, unfortunately. Let's make sure there's nobody else hanging out up here, and then we'll head downstairs. Gisser, you traitor. Well, he's not really a traitor, just... I don't know, a coward, I guess. Balmor necklace, I'll take it. A flute? No. Let's see, I don't really need any of this. Is there anything valuable? Flagon. Glow dust. Slaughterfish scales. White salts, that's valuable. A lot of good alchemy ingredients in here. And, ooh, some circlets. We'll take those. Let's see, no, I don't want the daggers. I want the... Hey. That one, and that one. Those will be pretty valuable. And as far as I'm concerned, it's not really stealing if it's from the Thalmor. I mean, it's hard to feel bad about taking stuff from them. Gold, okay. We've got the key, so let's go ahead and go into the dungeon. Oh, a potion. Somebody's shield. Let's see. There's a guard. Take my arrow. Garlic. What are they doing with garlic? I mean, torture tools and garlic? Are they torturing vampires? Oh, shush you. We'll let you out in a second. Let's see. Dalmor Dossier Esburn. That's what we needed. The Black Arrow. I think we've already read that. Hmm. Let's see, I don't recall where the other dossiers are, but I think we missed them. They may have been inside the embassy. So yeah, I think we missed out on those. Ellen Wynn Solar. Is this where we already were? Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah, I think this is just the other entrance. Maybe it's in here? Ah, oh, that's what I was looking for. Key, dragon investigation, and the dossiers, okay. And another potion, ooh, and some wine. That's always useful. That's really cool. It's like a Thalmor robe, but turned into like a... I don't know, I don't know what to call that. Like a curtain? It's not really a curtain, but okay. Alright, let's go free this guy. Actually... <coughs> uh, 
Uh, where's the other cheese? And let's drink some wine. There we go. We're still tired, but at least now we're fed. And I'm going to switch our arrows to, let's see, orcish. Interesting. I told you, I don't know anything else about it. I'd like to hear it all one more time. Fine, whatever you want. Can't you just kill me and get it over with? There's this old man. I've seen him around Rifton. I don't know where he lives. I don't know his name. Yes, he matches the description of this Esbern guy you're looking for. Maybe it's him, maybe it isn't. That's all I know, okay? I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? No time to explain. Let's get you out of here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. Never mind. Must lead somewhere. Move slowly. Go ahead. I'm not done here. I guess you know what you're doing. I've got to find a way out of here. Did they kill Malborn? He's got to be here somewhere. I don't know where they'd be coming from. I assume, yeah, here. Never should have come. Don't kill him. No, no, no. That takes care of that. Okay, we saved him. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. It was good. Go, go, go. Got the key. Uh, more keys, I guess. Let's be on our way. I'll take all that. Okay, we managed to save Malborn and escape. But now we've got to get out of here. don't seem to be doing a whole lot to him. Oh, dude, don't do that. Is he going to chase him outside? Okay. It's like we managed to escape with everybody alive, so let's get out of here. I thought for sure that uh, Etienne was going to get smacked by that troll and one-shotted, but it looks like he made it out of there okay. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Let's see what he has to say. Hey. You didn't have to help me, so thanks. Not a problem. All right, guys. Well, we managed to escape the embassy intact. We saved everybody we possibly could, and we got what we needed along with some other information. So I'm going to go ahead and break off the episode here. Next episode, we will uh, probably start back in solitude, take care of a few more things, and then head back to Riverwood where we'll finally meet with Delphine and show her what we learned. So um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to share the videos as you see fit. And I will see you guys back here for part 18 of our Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Let's Play.